In his final State of the City address, Mayor John Cranley started with what he hopes will be his legacy. We are now a city that is growing again. We have 29,000 more jobs, fewer people living in poverty, a revitalized downtown and over the Rhine. Tonight, Cranley reflected on the tough times in Cincinnati, including corruption at City Hall, the deaths of first responders, the mass shooting at Fifth Third Center, and the 2001 riots. I got into politics when our city was going through the riots in 2001, and we were at each other's throats. And the same people came together over a table. It took a long time, but we worked out our differences. And I believe that improving those race relations were the key to our city's comeback. He also told us he is concerned with the violence in the city now as Cincinnati counts 350 shootings and 77 homicides this year. We have an unacceptable level of violence. Children, innocent victims have been shot. This month has been terrible, but our cops are doing a great job. They deserve support. He says the next mayor must continue that support. Cranley says the city has much to be proud of with more jobs and development downtown, big infrastructure investments, and three major league sports teams. You know, my son barely remembers when I was elected, and now he's 12. And, you know, as I said, making him proud is the most important thing in my life. Uh, and so I believe I've delivered him a better city than the one he was born into 12 years ago. And he says there is still plenty of work to do. As you always say. Now, in his remaining time as mayor, Cranley says that he's going to focus on crime issues. He also wants to help whoever the next mayor is with a seamless transition. He also didn't hold back on talking about his running for governor. He says he shows that he made the city have a comeback, and he believes he can also do the same for the state of Ohio. Reporting live in the West End, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.